Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. I'm Captain Beefy, got Hobbit with me here. And we are breeding up UDs, as you can see. And they are like, what the hell are those claws up there? Um, yeah. Yeah, we've got this place pretty well packed in here. But we're breeding them up trying to get a perfect pair of UDs so that we can get one for the boss fights that are coming up. <clears throat> so let's cue up the music and I'll show you what we're doing. All right, how many eggs you got, Hobbit? Five eggs. Chuck them in there, and I'll show these guys what this is all about. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, so we're looking to get the best stats on a male and a female. What we've got so far is a female, level 227. It's got 25 points in health, 26 in weight, 32 in stamina, and 40 in melee. So we're just breeding up like sets of five here and um, seeing what we get out of it, right? We don't want any mutations. We want a good male and a good female. This 212 obviously sucks. The 14, the 226 is good. It has a mutation, but it's not as good as the other one because it's got the lower health. Yeah, it's got the lower health. Uh, I got a 203 and a 205, so I'm going to junk all of those. And we'll see what the next five give us. I'll bring you back when we got five more eggs. All right, I got a boosted now too. So hopefully we get a male, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and um, hatch both of them. And then tomorrow we'll be able to start breeding them up. Maybe we'll get a uh, <clears throat> a stamina mutation. I think stamina is probably the most important thing for these guys because of the roaring. That's mainly what they're going to be doing. How many are we at now? We have four. Four. All right, so we got the current temperature on this thing set at 33, which is the one that'll give it the incubation boost. Uh, that's pretty, you know, gives you an incubation boost of 20%, 20% faster. On our server, not that big of a deal since we have such high rates for breeding and all that. But on official servers, that can make a pretty significant difference, uh, depending on what you have there. And you just adjust the control by going here to temperature control. And then you can hold on one of these six options, increase or decrease temperature in increments of 1, 5, or 10. And you can keep holding it, and it will keep moving it up and down the thing. All right, Hobbit grabbed five new eggs. Let's see what we got here. Hobbit? Hmm. I think we got a winner. All right, 25, 26, 32, 40. Yep, we got a winner. You can shut them off. All right, so three's no good, four's no good, five's no good. So that should be a 227. Oh, that one actually has better. Hold on a second. Hold on. Thirty-five, thirty-five. So we do have minor differences in oxygen and food, which isn't a big deal. What's the, what's the what's the foot one? I got 33. That's uh, movement, movement speed, speed okay. yeah. So 25, 26, 32, and 40 are the important ones. So, all right, let's go ahead and pull out this one. Oh, did you throw another one in? Yeah. All right, you got them shut off now? Yeah. What, what level is that egg? I got a third one that's 25. 26, 32, 40. Wait. Did, it, did I mess something up? Lower level though, right? I got 224, 227, and 227. Yeah, it's a lower level. Alright, so we'll keep these two and we'll let them do the breeding. Alright, so these these are the, uh, the perfects then. Yeah, these are the perfects. So I'll bring you guys back when we have a perfect male and female ready to show off that are hatched up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop out these two UDs that we bred up, the perfect breeders. X-Uteranus. Oh, that's nice. 
yeah, the female came out real pretty. And go ahead and open up the stats of that one. We'll compare them real quick just to verify, but you see it's 6402.1 on health. Stamina yep. is 1764. Yep. Weight is 760. Yep. And the melee is 361. Yep. So good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let these guys grow up. And then each of us is going to breed one up for ourselves to take into battle against Steinbjorn. We're going to plan on doing that hopefully Sunday. Well, maybe. Yeah, Sunday. Uh, gameplay won't be back till then, so he won't have a UD. But that's okay. Four will be more than enough. Two will be more than enough. But we're going to take Steinbjorn on with our uh, Rexes, our Allos, our Gigas, and that big army of Dimorphs that I'm going to show you here in just a second. It's going to be bloody hilarious when these guys are all uh, roared up from the UD. So they're going to deal so much damage. I want to see what it does to Steinbjorn and see how much, uh, how much trouble it gets into. So I'll go ahead and show you those guys. We'll be right back. All right, so here is our army of Dimorphs, and I think they've got Bigfoot trapped. I actually need to turn off the HUD so that we can, uh, there we go, so that we can see this huge army. Dude, come back here. They got Bigfoot trapped against the wall. It's kind of intimidating. <laughs> Poor Bigfoot. Look what's happening. He's trying to move. He's trying. I see him. He's trying. He's just, he's just walking. He's like, what the heck? It's like, what I have you done? Wall. There we go. Bigfoot, be careful. <laughs> so yeah, there's the army of Dimorphs that we're going to use. Um, well, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't do that to Bigfoot. That's hilarious. Yeah, I can't do that to Bigfoot. So let me go ahead and put that back on. And do a follow all. Come on, guys. I'm just going to lay these guys out somewhere around between our house and my house and your house. So I filled that thing up with meat down there. They'll be fine. Oh, I want to make sure they don't get all stuck and all that. Any of them get stuck? Nope. Okay. As far as I know, no. Good. All right, guys. Let's go. They look like a swarm of bees. Right. These things are so deadly in packs, so... Yeah, when we go... <laughs> God. Now I'm stuck. There we go. They're all going to settle down around here. I've got them set in a group so that uh, it'll be easy just to pick them all up in one shot, you know. And you see how they kind of cluster mm -hmm. together, so when we do realm travel, we should be okay. I don't think we'll have a problem with that. Kind of crazy. By the way, Maui got out today. We went and rescued her. She was being very naughty running around outside the base. It was bound to happen. But we got her back, so that's good. All right, guys, so we're going to get those UDs bred up, and everybody's going to have a UD for the most part for that battle with Steinbjorn. Uh, we're going to bring our big uh, theropods with us and those little dimorphs, and it should be an absolute riot. So plan on that Sunday night. We're going to start at 5 on Sunday. We probably won't get to Steinbjorn immediately. It'll probably be a little bit later in the stream. But we'll be doing a five-hour stream that night, so hope to see you guys there. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to leave a like on the video down below. That's a huge help for me. I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. I got Hobbit with me tonight working on this project. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace. Peace out, everybody.